Hi, I hope everyone's doing well today. Today I'm going to be talking about dot point one point seven, blueprint of life. Uh, this dot point requires us to use available evidence to analyze using a named example how advances in technology have changed scientific thinking about evolutionary relationships. So primarily, what I'm going to be looking at today is going to be hem hemoglobin sequencing. The main reason I haven't actually chosen DNA hybridization is because I think that in this case it's good to also know hemoglobin sequencing, which is you know uh, an alternative to uh, DNA hybridization that you can use in the exam. Feel free to go ahead and learn about DNA hybridization, and more than likely you'll learn about it in school because it's the main thing that they teach. But this is also a good backup plan, and you can actually even just use this as your main plan. Anyways, I'll just continue. So hemoglobin sequencing, what is it? Well. Really, it's the comparison of hemoglobin sequences, and it's it's all it is is we get hemoglobin sequences from two different organisms, and from these two organisms, we check which ones have more alterations in their protein sequences, and those which do have more alterations, they're classified further away from organisms in an evolutionary sense, and then same goes for the opposite. If we get these DNA, um, uh, these hemoglobin sequences, and we find these proteins, and they're very, very close together from two organisms, the organisms which have similar protein sequences, we can allude that, hey, these organisms are similar in structure and also in perhaps evolutionary sense. So the main point of hemoglobin sequencing is that we can actually take the uh, protein sequences of two different organisms, or the hemoglobin sequences of two different organisms, and from the amino acids in these hemoglobin, and the proteins, uh, essentially the proteins, we can figure out whether or not an organism is linked, and that we can create a relationship through. So let's go back to the dot point for a second. Let's see what it asks. It asks us for uh, using a named example, how advances in technology have changed scientific thinking about evolutionary relationships. Our named example in this case is hemoglobin sequencing. Uh, advances in technology is the actual concept of taking the protein from the hemoglobin and the amino acids to actually check whether an organism is related or not in any evolutionary sense. That is our advances in technology. And the, uh, how it changes the scientific thinking about evolutionary relationships is the point where you know you can get any organisms, two organisms, and actually check if they're similar in the evolutionary terms. And if they are, then we will know that through this type of test and we'll figure it out and then that is actually what like you know allows for evolutionary thinking to be impacted so that is all i really need to talk about this is a very short video and i really do hope it helps thank you